Hi there. After this lesson, you should be able to identify a proportional relationship from a graph and write the equation in slope-intercept form. Take a look at this graph. What do you see? It may not look like much, but we can find a lot of information from a graph such as this. First of all, we know it is showing us data about a food truck, and that food truck is selling pizza by the slice. When the truck sells two slices of pizza, it gains a profit of $7. And when it sells five slices of pizza, it gains a profit of $17.50. We can do some simple arithmetic to see that they are selling slices for $3.50 each. We can write an equation on this line in slope-intercept form, that is, y equals mx plus b, by first finding the slope or the steepness of the graph. Remember, the formula for slope, m, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We can use two points shown on the graph, plug them into our equation, and solve for m to see that the slope is 3.5. Great, we can replace m in our equation with 3.5. Now, what about the y-intercept, or b? We can see that the line passes through the origin, or point zero, 00, so the y-intercept is 0. It is not necessary to include the 0 in our equation, so the equation is simply y equals 3.5x. Good job! By the way, did you notice something familiar? If we take a look back at the cost per slice, the cost was $3.50 per slice. This is the same as the slope of the line. Do you think this is coincidence? In fact, it is not. The slope of the line is the unit rate, or the rate for one unit. In this case, the food truck sells pizza at a rate of $3.50 per one slice of pizza. You will see this to be true with any graph that shows a proportional relationship. That is, any relationship in which the ratio between quantities is equal. We can verify this two ways. First, is there some number that when multiplied by x will give us y at every point on the graph? In this case, that number is 3.5. Since this is true for all points on the graph, we know we are dealing with a proportional relationship. The second way to tell if a relationship is proportional is by looking at the graph. If a graph is a straight line that passes through the origin, the relationship is proportional. Okay, you try. We covered a bit of information. Let's see if you got it all. First, take a look at this graph. Does it show us a proportional relationship? Explain how you know. Let's take a look. Since the line of the graph is straight and it goes through the origin, we can safely say that it does represent a proportional relationship. How about this one? The graph shows the number of lemons needed for various amounts of water to make lemonade. Can you write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form? That is, the form y equals mx plus b? Go ahead and give it a try. Okay, in order to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, we must identify the slope and the y-intercept. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We can take this information from our points. Plug them in and simplify to see that the slope is one-third. So, what does that mean about the unit rate, or number of lemons used with one cup of water? It means that one-third of a lemon is used in every one cup of water. Great, now let's identify the y-intercept, or the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. Since the graph is proportional, it crosses right here at the origin. So b is equal to zero, and our equation is y equals one-third x. Great job! Thank you.